Hello, welcome back. So question, can we make chords on a modular? It's primarily known as a monophonic synthesizer, but if we had three oscillators and we tuned them to chord intervals, I think we could. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah, we can make chords if we just tune the oscillators to a chord, but they're all tracking one's control voltage, and with that parallel motion, it doesn't sound all that musical, right? But what if we added a sequencer? Then we could actually send a separate control voltage to each oscillator, and we can not only play chords, we can change the type of chords. Let's look at that. Okay, so now in this mode with the sequencer, we're actually gonna tune all of our oscillators to unison, and we're going to use the sequencer to tune our pitches. So I have the sequencer connected so that when I press a key, it will shift from one slot to the next because of the gate. So we have something like this. Okay, so, so far we made some chords using three notes and three oscillators. What about making four note chords? We just have to have another oscillator. Let's take a look. So now in this example, we're gonna do a four note chord. Now the, the thing about chords is the third determines whether it's a major or a minor or a suspended or a second, but the root and fifth interval are pretty much always the same. There's a few exceptions to that, but we're just talking about basic chords today. So if we took the first row and ran it to two oscillators and tuned one to the root and one to the fifth, that would free up the third row, which is doing the fifth right now, and it could be doing ninths and sevenths and stuff like that. So I've added a fourth oscillator right up here to these three, and this one is tuned to a fifth so that it matches when we're playing oscillator one at the root note, this will track it and be playing a fifth. And now we have variable thirds and variable uh, sevenths or you know the added fourth note so check out these four note chords So very cool. Okay, in this example, I'm taking an extra output from the top row, which is our root note, and I'm running it down here to a whole nother voice tuned lower to get a bass sound. And check this out. Now I'm keying the sequencer manually that obviously can run automatically in the background and you could be playing melodies over that. I am using a lot of hardware here, but like I say, if you have minimum three oscillators, you can do a three note chord. Um, if you have the fourth oscillator, you can tune the top row to the root and fifth, freeing up the third and whatever extra note, if you have an additional oscillator for that. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, be four oscillators to do that. 
and now I'm adding a fifth to get the bass. There is another way to get the bass, and that would be to come out of the square wave output of your root oscillator and go through a divider circuit and then run that back in. And however many divisions you can create would be how many octaves lower that note would be. So you could create a sub octave type thing. Making chords on a modular, it is possible. Awesome. I would encourage you if you get into this to experiment with note movement, chord intervals, those types of things. There's a lot more you can do than, than I did here. Um, and just experiment and make it your own. Appreciate you guys coming and watching these videos. If you're getting anything from them, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.